Hello and welcome to Living Word, growing a family that experiences every promise of God. For more information, visit our website at livingwordonline.com. Hallelujah! He is risen! Praise our God! Is God so amazing? He is so good! So I woke up on Monday and I did as I always do on Monday and I said, okay, God, what, what scripture are we standing on this week? What scripture am I sitting in this week for the weekend? And he gave me John 3.16. And I thought, of course, of course you would give me John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave, say gave, wasn't taken from him, wasn't ripped from him. God gave, he freely gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, say, I'm a whosoever, whosoever would believe in him should not perish, but rather have everlasting, eternal, amazing, supernatural, abundant life. Can we give God some praise? And you know, it's a familiar scripture, but how many of you know that the word never disappoints? It doesn't matter how often you read familiar scriptures. You will always find new revelation for the moment in which you're reading that familiar scripture. It will always bless your life. And so for me, on Monday, the scripture or the text that stood out to me was only. I have five kids. But I read that scripture where it said only. He gave his only son. I'm going to tell you right now, I have five, and I don't know a single one of them that's up for grabs. I don't know a single one of them. I love every one of you in this house. I do. I love you. (laughs) I love you because I love Christ, and Christ has given us love on the inside of us, but I'm going to be really honest with you. That would be a very difficult thing for me to do. And so I sat in that scripture on Monday, and I thought, what did that cost him? Because it says he gave. He freely gave. And it gives perspective. That scripture on Monday, it gave me perspective when I read only. He gave his only son. Not one of many, but his only son. And what it screamed at me on Monday was he gave everything. He gave his best for us, for me. He so desired to bridge the gap between sin and sickness and death and the love of humanity. Can you say extravagant love? You are loved with an extravagant love, not an easy love, not a passing love, but an extravagant love. He loves you outrageously and extravagantly. And you know what's even crazier about this amazing extravagant love is nothing can disqualify you from it. Nothing can disqualify you from that extravagant love that God has for you and all of humanity. It doesn't matter your past. It doesn't matter what secret you may even hold standing here before us today. It doesn't matter what addiction you have yet to overcome. It doesn't matter the frustrations maybe you're experiencing with your kids or in your marriage. It doesn't matter when you have those moments of doubt and sadness. Nothing can disqualify you from his desire to know you, his desire to bring hope into your day, his desire to bring power into your day, healing into your life, purpose and promise, nothing can disqualify you from that. So I wanna encourage you, church, this week, when you wake up and greet the day, I just wanna encourage you, say, good morning, God. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you that you gave me your only son, And guess what? I want to know you too. Can we do that? Let's just give our God some praise. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God. We praise you, Father God. We We exalt you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We introduce to you Living Word Virtual Church Community. Each week, we come together during the live stream, chatting with each other through live comment sections. Then, during the week, our virtual church community reconnects in online share groups to discuss the weekend service and study the Word. To sign up, visit the Living Word Virtual Church Community page on our website. We'll see you there.